There's been a breakthrough this evening in the effort by the international community to deliver aid to two and a half million cyclone victims in Burma. The UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon says the junta has agreed to allow all aid workers into the country to help. The development came when Mr Ban met the Burmese junta leader Tan Shui. The military had sealed the worst hit area saying it was in control. The UN chief flew into Burma's flooded Irrawaddy Delta to assess the need for international relief. What he got was a tour of a camp established by the military junta, dismissed by a UN official as a show camp. The secretary general was more diplomatic. The whole world is trying to help the Myanmar people. Visiting Burma's holiest Buddhist shrine, the Shwedagon Pagoda in Rangoon, Mr Ban said he brought a message of hope that the sole purpose of his visit was to persuade the junta to accept more international help. This evening, it seems, he succeeded. After meeting Burma's leader, General Tan Shui, the Secretary General announced that foreign aid workers would be allowed into the country for relief work in cyclone-hit areas. It ends almost three weeks of stubborn resistance by the junta, which repeatedly insisted that it was in control, that it alone could deliver aid, and that there was no catastrophe. But the UN chief says more foreign aid teams are desperately needed. We have 1,700 United Nations staff working on the ground, but they have been mostly very much overstretched, over exhausted. The UN says 2.4 million Burmese need food, shelter and medical care, and that without it, many more could die. The UN and ASEAN will meet on Sunday to discuss Burma's request for $11 billion. And certainly the donors would want some clear action plans, some clear monitoring mechanism and some insurance of transparency. Earlier, the junta agreed to allow 10 UN World Food Program helicopter flights from Rangoon to the Irrawaddy Delta. But it turned down an offer of help from French, American and US Navy ships standing off the coast for more than a week. Their helicopters could have delivered aid within 30 minutes. But almost three weeks after the cyclone struck, there are warnings that a third of the survivors are children and that they are the most at risk. Ross Cameron, World News Australia.